Welcome to Around the World Channel. Lev Parnas found guilty on campaign finance charges, CNN. New York, CNN, Rudy Giuliani's former associate Lev Parnas was convicted on six counts related to influence buying campaign finance schemes. Alec Baldwin, Rust, camera crew walked off before shooting, Los Angeles Times. Hours before actor Alec Baldwin fatally shot a cinematographer on the New Mexico set of Rust with a prop gun, a half dozen camera crew workers walked off the set to protest working conditions. As pitcher Chris Bassett, Astros weren't only team cheating, Cron. Oakland as all-star pitcher Chris Bassett thinks a lot of teams were cheating many more than just the Astros a few years ago, but he doesn't think it's still happening. Biden crafts a climate plan B. Tax credits, regulation and state action, the New York Times. State action, which does not depend on the occupant of the White House, is an essential part of the national emissions strategy, Mr. Larson said. Michigan reports 7,505 new COVID cases, 118 deaths, average of 3,753 cases per day. WDIV Click on Detroit. Detroit, Michigan reported 7,505 new cases of COVID-19 and 118 virus-related deaths Friday, an average of 3,752.5 cases over the past two days. Democrats move to finalize new, billionaire, tax plan, targeting 700 wealthiest Americans as key source of revenue for spending plan, The Washington Post. But even as Democrats seized control of the White House and Congress, they haven't been able to fully coalesce around a tax and spending plan with Senator Kirsten Sinema, D. Aries. Business News Live Updates, Stock Market and Federal Reserve, The New York Times. By Gina Smielik The pandemic-related shortages that are pushing consumer prices higher are poised to last longer than economists and policymakers had expected said Jerome H. Powell, the Federal R. Supreme Court refuses to block Texas abortion ban but will hear challenges, The Guardian. The U.S. Supreme Court allowed a Texas law that bans the vast majority of abortions to temporarily remain in effect, but will hear arguments on 1 November. Barbados elects Dame Sandra Mason as the country's first-ever president, NPR. Dame Sandra Mason, then the governor-general of Barbados, is seen here after she was made a Dame Grand Cross of the Order of St. Michael and St. Peter Scolari, Newhart and Bosom Buddies actor, dies at 66 Variety. Peter Scolari who rose to stardom on the brilliant but cancelled, Bosom Buddies, alongside Tom Hanks, died Friday morning at age 66 of cancer, after a two-year illness. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.